Mm -hmm. And I, I knew something was right. He had a fever of 106. And so uh, they went to the emergency room. And they sent him home because they said he had the flu. Okay. And then a couple days later, he couldn't get out of bed. And my mom called me and we called 911. And they came and got him in the ambulance. And he was in the hospital for about a week. And they tested him for meningitis. They tested him for everything but West Nile virus. And then on that Wednesday, because he went in on Saturday, on that Wednesday they decided to go ahead and test him for West Nile virus. And it came back. By the time it came back, the results came back on a Saturday, he, his body was shutting down. His respiratory was shutting down. Everything was shutting down. And they took him to the ICU room. And at that time, they came and told us that he had West Nile virus. But he had predicted he had West Nile virus that Wednesday when they did the test on him. He thought he might have it because he started losing all, all his functions in his arms and his legs and all of his extremities. He wasn't able to move. Actually, you get like foggy in the brain. You can't think of doing anything. You can't move. One time I could only move his hand through my eyes. That was after he came out of a coma. He was in, the co in a coma for about two, to two, weeks. two weeks. And then as he came out of the coma, all he could move was his his right arm and his eyes. You can't really do enough, but you can't keep people from trying to do enough too. 